Over 250,000 followers, consistent $100,000 months, dozens of multi-millionaire friends. These are some of the benefits I've gotten just from the social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter. And with Elon Musk taking over Twitter, it's now the newest and best opportunity to make money on social media. And to be honest, only a few smart people are taking advantage right now before the secret gets out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can grow a follow of 10,000 followers on Twitter or X in the next six to 12 months and start making money from your personal brand as quickly as possible. But first, I mean, why even grow on X? Well, there are five huge benefits that not many people know about. So first off, Elon Musk says he wants to transform X from a social media app into the everything app, like China's WeChat that has over 1.2 billion users. And if you don't think one of the smartest and richest guys on the planet who launches rockets to Mars, creates brain microchips, and digs underground car tunnels, can't build the biggest social media platform in the world. Well, my friend, you are smoking crack. So for context, Instagram and YouTube have well over 2 billion monthly active users. Right now, X has over 541 million monthly active users. And in May of 2022, X had 229 monthly active users. So that's over a 100% increase in one year alone. And I predict the growth of X in the next four years is going to hit well over 2 billion people, which means right now there is less competition to grow and those who do build their brand will get a ton more exposure when the influx of new people join the social media platform. And not only that, but X is one of the few social media platforms right now that pays you to create content. So for example, within three days of signing up for X ad revenue share and posting content, I made $329. So as you grow your social media following, you're also creating an asset that gives you passive income. Now, reason three to grow a following on X is because it's super easy to create content. I mean, you can create a post within 30 seconds and have it potentially go viral. So the effort to reward ratio on X is unmatched, which leads to the next benefit since you can create a ton of content quickly, you can test which ideas resonate with your audience by seeing which ones get the most likes, impressions, reposts, all of that. And then you can take the validated pieces of content that get the most engagement and repurpose it into Instagram posts, into LinkedIn posts, short form video, even newsletters. And that's how I've grown my Instagram to over 200,000 followers and LinkedIn to 35,000 followers simply by repurposing my posts from X. Now, the final reason is the people on X are simply smarter compared to other platforms. I don't know if it's because it's a heavily text-based platform that attracts smart people, but the IQ level on there is much higher than something like TikTok. Oh, not only are you going to learn more because of the quality of information, but you're going to make friends with smart people who can help grow your business, help make you more money and help you grow your social media. So that's all fine and dandy, you know, all those benefits, but how do you actually grow a following on X? And how can you grow to 10,000 followers in the next six to 12 months? After growing my own following from zero, to 250,000 followers and ghostwriting for some of the biggest personal brands on the platform, I've created an easy seven step plan for you to follow. And this is what I charge my clients thousands of dollars a month for, but you're going to get it for free in the next seven minutes. So step one is you need to figure out your content pillars. And there's three categories you want your content to touch on. And I call this the gap framework. The G stands for growth content. The A stands for authority content and the P stands for personal content. So growth content is anything that relates to trending topics and well-known figures you can tie back to your brand. So if I was a writer and creating writing content on social media, then I would take advantage of the chat GPT trend and tie that back to my content. Or I would think of Okay, who are the big authorities and well-known figures in the writing world? And I would make content breaking down their lessons, their books, something like Stephen King's top lessons on writing. And this is the type of content that's going to get a lot of clicks because it's on top of everybody's mind. You know, they're familiar with those topics and they're going to click on it, which is going to get you more exposure. Now, the second category is authority content. And this is the number one mistake people make when they're trying to grow on social media. It's creating, only creating fluffy content that sounds like it came from a fortune cookie. Because humans act in their self-interest, we are more prone to follow accounts 
that solve our pain points or move us closer to a desired outcome. And even if you do manage to grow some account based off of fluffy motivational content, you're going to struggle to make money from products or services, which is where you're actually going to make money with social media. So I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper and list out the topics you are interested in. And it could be fitness, writing, business. You don't have to be good at them. Just list out your interests. Now, from your interests, pick one that if you were to learn and provide a service or a product to other people, it had the potential to either make other people money, improve the other person's health or improve their dating and relationship life. And there will always be a market for health, wealth and relationships. So it'll make it easier for you to grow on social media and easier to make money on social media. And remember, you don't need to be an expert. You just need to post content. And this is the biggest problem holding most people back from even starting. And the best mindset you can have going into it is that you're just documenting your journey. You're building in public and teaching people a few steps behind you. When you adopt this frame, you're not pretending to be someone you're not, and you'll eliminate a ton of imposter syndrome. Now, finally, for your third content bucket, personal content. I mean, think about it. If people only wanted information, they would just Google it. So personal content is how you separate yourself from everyone else on social media, because that's the one thing that can't be copied is who you are. So you want to share your story. You want to share your failures. You want to share your transformations and your uncensored opinions. And that will spark all that unique content that people can't replicate because it's processed through your own experience. So make sure to create personal content because this is what's going to create diehard fans. Because when people relate to you, they connect to you on an emotional level. And emotion will always influence people more than logic. Now, step two is create your profile. Your profile is going to drastically affect the amount of followers and sales you get, so you want to optimize it. And your profile can be broken up into five parts. Profile, photo, banner, bio, username, and pinned post. For your profile photo, people are attracted to faces and you'll be more identifiable on the timeline when it's a quality headshot of you. So use an iPhone, don't use an Android, or use a DSLR camera to take a photo of you. And if you don't have one, ask a friend or hire a professional photographer. It's well worth the investment because you are literally creating the face of your brand. And to give you some examples, here are some solid profile photos on the screen. Now next, for your bio, focus on the benefit for the reader. You wanna think, why should they care? So the first line of your bio should give people an idea of what your account is about. You can keep it simple, so something like posts on X, Y, and Z. The second part of your bio should be something that backs up your authority and shows that you're competent in what you're talking about. So for example, one bio could be posts on writing, business, and content creation. And then the second line would be, I've helped 117 people monetize their personal brand. Or if you are new and you don't have as much experience, you can talk about how you are documenting your journey on your way to some big goal. So if I was just starting out, I could say posts on writing, business, and content creation, sharing my insights on my way to building a 10K a month personal brand. Now for your banner, it can be anything. Just think of it as the wallpaper for your brand. And all it has to do is match the vibe you're going for. So for your username, you want it to be easy to spell and uncomplicated so it's easy to remember and look you up. And avoid putting numbers or underscores. Those look absolutely atrocious. Please just slap yourself if you do that. Now finally, for your pinned post, if you want to optimize for followers, make a long form story post that talks about a specific transformation you went through. So it could be something, how you lost 107 pounds and went from fat to fit, or how you went from broke to not broke. Or if you wanna optimize for sales, make a long form post showing a case study of one of your clients, like how you got them great results, or a case study of yourself and how you've done it for yourself. And basically this is gonna show you are competent in what you are selling, and it's gonna encourage people to buy from you. Now, step three is to dedicate one to two hours a day to learning. So creating content is like cooking a delicious meal. If you want to make something truly unique and flavorful, you need a variety of ingredients. So to create interesting content, you need to constantly educate yourself. So block out an hour or two every day to read, listen to podcasts, consume courses, whatever. Then store your notes on something like Notion or Google Docs and refer back to it whenever you need to create content. Now, step four is 
post regularly. Now that you know what you want to talk about on social media and got your profile set up, you need to post content. And if you want to grow on X, you need to post consistently one to five times a day. And this is going to prioritize you in the algorithm and get people familiar with you. At first, nobody is going to see your content. So don't be discouraged if you're not growing. You want to think about your social media posts at the start as your digital resume. When someone goes to your profile and scans your content, it's going to convert them. And the easiest way to churn out a ton of content is to follow another framework I created called the what, why, how framework. So state what your idea is, why someone should care and how they can apply it in their own life. And if you listen to all the tips I've given so far in the video, it follows this framework. Now, step five is to create one to three long posts a week, not one, two, three. It's one to three. Now, posting one to five regular posts a day will grow your X account, but to supercharge your growth, you want to create long form authority and story posts. And these types of posts convert the best for followers and sales because you're going more in depth on a topic, which builds trust, way more trust than a single one-off post. And all long form posts are, is a collection of steps on how to reach a desired outcome or solve a pain point. So if I was a fitness account, I would think, okay, what are the biggest pain points of my audience? For example, I could make a long form post on how to lose five pounds in the next 30 days. Then I follow it up with actionable steps. And for each step, you can use the what, why, how framework to simplify the whole process and make it easy to write. Now, step six is to create your top 100. So from zero to 5,000 followers, this is going to be the best way to grow your account. So you're gonna be like Santa Claus and you're gonna make a list of 100 people. And these 100 people are going to be those who have the audience you want to have. Now, what you're going to want to do is click the list button on the left side of the screen when you log on to the X app, then create a new private list and add all those people to it. And this will organize it in one centralized hub where it will make it easy to log on and engage with all those accounts. And now that you have your list, you're going to comment 25 times a day or more on those people's posts. And this will have two huge benefits. So one, over time, many of those accounts you follow are going to follow you. And this this will get you a ton more follower conversions because when bigger accounts follow you, it's a source of credibility. Because when someone goes to your account and they see, oh, 10 or 50 or however many people I follow, follow this person, I'm going to follow them too because they must be credible. And the second big benefit is increased exposure. So when you leave comments on bigger accounts, their followers will see it and some of them will click on your profile. And if you have a solid profile and good content, which you will, these people will follow you too. But it is crucial you do not leave stupid comments like dropping a fire emoji like it's some thirst trap on IG or simply saying, I agree. Expand on what the original post says, add your own opinions, add your own experience to what the person is saying. And this will stand out because you're showing you are a human, you actually have good thoughts and it's going to attract quality followers. Now, the final step is step seven and that's going to be creating a network. So we need to remember why social media platforms exist, money, but social media is free. So how do they make make their money ads, which means the longer someone is on social media, the more ads that social media platform can show them and the more money they will make. So if the algorithm sees people are engaging with your stuff, it's telling it you're good at keeping people on the platform and it's going to push your content to more people. So it's crucial you make friends on the platform, comment on people's accounts you vibe with. And once you're friendly in the comments, reach out and form relationships in the DMs. And the more you interact with other people, the more you're going to signal to the algorithm, hey, these people know each other, let's push the content to them more. And not only is this going to show your stuff more in the social media feed, but you're going to create valuable friends you can grow with and potentially do business with or whatever. So if you really want to accelerate your growth, you can create a group of five to 10 other creators and exchange engagement. So as each of you grow and grow larger audiences, you'll push each other's content to larger audiences. And this is going to compound and snowball over time. So make it a habit to reach out to one to three people a day on the platform. Now, if you're consistent with these seven tips over the next six to 12 months, I guarantee you're going to have at least 10,000 followers and set up very nicely 
obviously for when X becomes the next big social media platform. So if you want to build a personal brand and make money with social media, I do offer a program that walks you through everything I learned that scaled my business to $250,000 months and a $500,000 plus following within three years. If you're interested in that, you can click the link in the description. But with that being said, I hope y'all have a fantastic day and I will see you on the next one.